he is an actor of remarkable range and power. His stage, film, and television career has spanned more than 40 years. He is the consummate professional, an actor's actor, and the world's nicest guy. Robert Prosky grew up in Philadelphia, the son of a grocer. When he happened into the role of the stage manager in a high school production of Our Town, the die was cast. An ardent theatergoer during his years at Temple University, Bob began what would be his life's work in 1955. Roles in summer stock and off-Broadway built both his confidence and his acting skills. And in 1958, he was cast as Sheriff Hartman in the arena stage production of The Front Page. It was the opening of a Washington run that would span five decades and more than 150 roles. In the 1960s, Bob tackled The Rivals, Three Men and a Horse, Ring Round the Moon, The End of the Beginning, Tiger at the Gates, The Caucasian Chalk Circle, Volpone, Under Milkwood, The Time of Your Life, The Moon in the Yellow River, Miss Alliance, The Devils, Hotel Paradiso, Galileo, St. Joan, Billy Budd, The Scottish Play, The Three Sisters, The Crucible, The Great White Hope, and Kaufman and Hart's uproarious You Can't Take It With You. Bob put down roots in Washington, especially after his marriage to Ida Hove and the birth of sons Stephen, John, and Andrew. Life was full and fun. Bob's theatrical roles were increasingly demanding. In Indians, You Can't Take It With You, The Cherry Orchard, The Ruling Class, Pueblo, Twelfth Night, The Hostage, Julius Caesar, Enemy of the People, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Streamers, Ah Wilderness, Idiot's Delight, and, once again, you can't take it with you. Stellar productions of Inherit the Wind and Our Town brought an invitation to Zelda Fitchhandler and Arena Stage to be the first American theater company to tour the Soviet Union. But his most acclaimed work in the 1970s was in the monumental Death of a Salesman. Playwright Arthur Miller hailed Prosky's Willie Loman as unforgettable, first class. There were standing ovations nightly, and, Bob recalls, it was like my mother wrote all the reviews. The 1980s brought new challenges to the now highly respected actor. His work in Edward Albee's A Delicate Balance was hailed and his defining performance in the Charles Lawton version of Brecht's Galileo attracted national attention and rave reviews. Now, for the first time in more than 20 years, Bob accepted roles in film and television. The camera loved him in the arty heist film, The Thief, The Lords of Discipline, Christine, The Keep, The Natural, into Thin Air, Outrageous Fortune, and Broadcast News. But it was the groundbreaking urban police drama Hill Street Blues that made Prosky a household name and his Sergeant Jablonski a national treasure. In Chicago and on Broadway in the world premiere of Glengarry Glen Ross, Bob dazzled audiences as the tragic Shelley Levine. His brilliant performance won him the Jefferson Award the Drama Desk Award, and a Tony Award nomination. His second Tony nomination came for his next Broadway success, the disarming A Walk in the Woods, in which he starred with Sam Waterston. In 1990, Bob returned to arena stage to reprise his very first role, that of the stage manager in Thornton Wilder's classic Our Town, which earned him a Helen Hayes nomination. Pivotal arena performances followed over the next several years. The Price, 
for which he received the Helen Hayes Award, and The Matchmaker, in which he shared the stage with two of his sons, actors John and Andrew. And he continued to impress audiences coast to coast in Camping with Henry and Tom, for which he won both the Dramalogue and Ovation Awards. On screen, Bob continued to display his remarkable versatility in Gremlins 2, Far and Away, Hoffa, Mrs. Doubtfire, Dead Man Walking, The Scarlet Letter, and in the hit NBC series Veronica's Closet. Through all the years, Washington has remained his home, and Ida and the family his strong foundation. Back at Arena for the hugely successful 1998 production of You Can't Take It With You, Bob revels in working with old friends and his six-minute commute. With his career in full bloom, Bob Prosky's legacy to the American stage is still in the making. He approaches each new role with humanity, intelligence, discipline, and wit, just as he has approached the hundreds of others he has played over the years. What we actors try to do, he has said, is to create human beings out of our experience. You know the audience is there, but you cannot pander to them. And in the end, you gain yourself on stage only by losing yourself. Mm -hmm.